Hi, I'm Julie. I'm just going to show you a few um, of my Eddy beers that I've been making. Um, this one was made on the Eddy Pro, which is a 22 needles. And um, I have the larger beers as well, but this also made on the 22 peak, uh, needle machine. Um, I have a full tutorial on how to make the full bears on the um, Addy King Size and the Addy Pro, but these are just made on the Addy Pro. I've been asked a few questions on the Addy King Loomers and Knits Facebook page, um, so I'm going to answer a few of those questions. The easiest way is to do a video. Um, first of all, I've been asked what yarn I use. Now, I... I'm in Australia, so I don't know the equivalent in any other countries, but I use this stuff. It's just called knitting yarn, and it's a, I don't know if you can see that, it's a, it's a feathery yarn. Uh, it's not very thick. It's a very fine yarn. Um, and when you knit with this style on the Addy, the feathers seem to go on the inside rather than on the outside of the, the knit. So you will have to reverse um, your whatever you're making. So this is an ear. If you can see, that's the inside, which would be the outside. And it's more fluffy and soft on the inside of where you knit. So it's up to you which side you like. Um, I've also been asked about what eyes I use. I buy my packs from a local craft shop. Um, very limited in what I can get over here, but um, I buy just assorted eyes. These cost me about two dollars fifty. There's forty pieces in it. These are twelve millimeters. Um, this is a standard size I use for my small bears. Um, they're just plastic doll eyes or bear eyes, and they have the the safety clips you can buy all assorted sizes um, I have some here that are 16 millimeters um, they're larger around the same price um, for the noses you can buy um, as I said uh, bear noses they're just called bear noses I don't know if you can read that back to front but um, these are quite large, these ones I have smaller ones, but you can get them online, any craft shop. Um, stuffing your bears, you can just get fibre fill or whatever you can get your hands on. I can't get fibre fill because I can't go to the, the big craft shops here in, in Australia, it's a bit far for me to travel. So to make things easy for myself i often go out and buy cheeky pillows um i can get a pack of two jumbo pillows for five dollars and i just cut the end open and take my stuffing out um so if you're limited on what what you can get or where you can get fiber fill from as i said it's just polyester filling or toys or whatever you want to make um, pillows is easy um, that's pretty much it I'm just gonna give you a quick view of how the Addy Pro parts come out as I said the full tutorial is on the, the both machines this is just on the single Pro so this is the, the body and I've knit 40 rows of fun fur and 40 rows of 8 ply yarn or whatever size you use um, that knits up nicely in your Addy. I'm just using scraps. Um, it's a good way of getting rid of scrap yarn too. So this is how it comes off the machine. I start with the fun fur. Some machines like it, some don't. I don't know. How your machine goes um, tip is to go slow on the first few rows do not race through it you can drop stitches because it's quite a thin yarn so just take
take it slow and build up your speed as, as you go along. So for that body, you just turn it inside out, but pull the fun fur over the top. So this is the body part, so you would gather up the top end to make it the same as a beanie, like you were making a double row beanie. And then you would stuff and um, stitch up the hole to close it. So that's the body. Um, the head is pretty much similar, except I've done 33 rows of fun fur. And 33 rows of scrap yarn or whatever yarn you're using there. As you see, I've got two different colours because I've ran out of the grey. Um, that is just because the fun fur is quite thin, you can see through it. So if you were to stuff that, it's you, your stuffing would show through. This, this is just to thicken it up a bit. So the same again, turn it so the fluffy side's out. And you will have the pearl side showing on the back and then you draw string as I said you draw string it tight hide your tails inside attach your nose running stitch around for the for the muzzle put your eyes in place with your safety eyes and then again with the head go around and do that like on the the big it's a, pretty much the same as the large size it's just different um sizing the arms are just knit in fun fur so this is 35 rows for the arms so you do two of these and turn it right side out so you've got your fluffy side out bring your tail through so it's at the end where you pulled it tight and secured and with the arms I just fold it in half this way so it's going to be a little skinny arm and then I just stitch along here to the top and then you will have a double double tube and then you stuff the inside tube before you close the top and then that gives you a nice skinny arm instead of having a big thick arm like this it's only half the size but it's quite crunchy it's nice nice and soft so the legs are slightly different in the fact that I make a little this is 15 rows on the Addy Pro it's just a a little so I suppose a little beanie you draw string one end secure with a knot and then you stuff this with with your fiber fill to have however, however like thick you like um, just try and get both the same before you you finish but say you want to make like making a little ball I suppose like so this now becomes the the ball of your of your bear's foot to make it look I don't know if you can see that make it look like it's got a foot pad and then a skinny leg so what I do is it's 40 rows in the fun fur right sides out and then I label all my little parts as I make them up so I know which one's which find the center of your of your foot pad and line your center ball up and then tuck it in so you end up with a with a ball inside that's only because this is single knit and not double knit like like the head and the the body so it, it's just so it gives it a bit more shape and then what I do is I take my tail and I thread it through here through the ball inside but I don't come out the middle of the ball 
I come up maybe three or four rows in, it doesn't matter, not precise. And then what I do is I take it from here, so the yarn coming out here, which is just above the ball, I fold the rest of the, the leg that's free out, and then I stitch up there to make it look like there's a ball and then a skinny leg. So that's the legs. Um, the more you do, the better you get at it. My first bear was really atrocious. I'm embarrassed to show it, but you know, that's life. So the practice makes perfect. As I say to everybody, I've been making, I've probably made about 60 or 70 bears in the last month, I suppose, because they're just addictive. Um, I do sell them. I give them away. Um, yeah, it's just fun. Um, I was given a whole bucket of fancy yarn that from my stepmom who was given it but doesn't knit so it came to me so I've got all this yarn that I just don't know what to do with so bears are fun so the ears this is up to you how you do your ears I know on my first video it got lost somewhere I don't know what happened but depending on how big you want your ears to go on your bear um, I like somewhere between anywhere between 12 and 17 rows this is I think this one was 15 so it's slightly bigger I mean it depends I think these were 12 so they're little little ears so it's up to you what you like so what you do is you take it off the machine as you would a beanie so you knit your rows and then you secure it so this is how it would come off the machine it's just a little like a mini beanie and then you leave the tail in and pull the, the other one so it's sort of making like a pom-pom you can make pom-poms like this too it's fun you just stuff it you put them on top of hats um, and then you secure by tying on the two strings into a knot um, like so and then you have a like it's like a, a like a round circle nice and fluffy and soft and then I bring I'll get rid of one of the strands but I'll bring it through the center and into down to the bottom and then I simply pin it into place where I want the ear to go and whip stitch around like the bear so I hope that helps everybody. Um, as I said, I like making bears. This yarn that I'm using is Moda Vera Flurry. Um, this was from this is from Spotlight in Australia. It's 50 grams a ball. It's about 50 meters a ball, and I use three balls on the small bear. So. Probably about 150 um, grams is fine to make a small bear. You all have some little bits left over just to, to help sew them up. I leave long tails on, so I've got plenty of sewing, so I don't need to keep attaching yarn and things like that. But um, they are cute. You have to agree. <laughs> so um, this one's going to be for um, a very close friend of mine who loves pink and has begged me for a pink bear so I, I hope she doesn't see this just yet because I haven't finished um, it's going to get a little tiara and um, a little wand that I'm gonna dress her up with so um, well thanks for watching and I hope this helps with um, all your questions if you've got any more questions feel free to let me know on um, Addie King Loomers and Knits Facebook page or comment down below and I'll see if I can answer them. Thank you.